Good morning class. Today we are going to start a new chapter that is the nervous system. Let us understand what is the nervous system. The nervous system is a complex network of neurons specialized to carry messages to and from the brain and the spinal cord. The nervous system controls, coordinates functions throughout the body and responds to internal and external stimuli. Nearly all multicellular organisms have communication systems. Specialized cells carry messages from one cell to another. Smooth and efficient communication through the body. So why there is need for nervous system? So it tells us about our surroundings and the changes occurring there. It does this with the help of a sense organ. It helps to think, learn and remember. It controls all the voluntary activities. It is one of the most complex organ system which consists of two parts. Central nervous system consists of brain and spinal cord. Peripheral nervous system which consists of all the nerves that is present inside the body. So central nervous system includes brain and the spinal cord. Peripheral nervous system that is the PNS includes the cranial nerves and the spinal nerves. Now let us learn about neurons or nerve cells. The unit of the nervous system. The basic unit of nervous tissue is the cell called the neuron. It is basic structure and functional unit of nervous system. Neurons are specialized to transmit information throughout the body. The structure of the neuron is divided into three main parts. You have the cell body, dendrites, and axon. Neuron consists of a main part called the cell body, which contains the nucleus and various organelles. It is also known as cytome or perikaryon, that is, Peri means surrounding and carrion means nucleus. Neurons also contain cell body extension called processes which carry impulses to and from the cell. Two different types of processes can come from the cell body, the first is the dendrite and the other is the axon. Dendrites, also called as efferent processes, which carry impulse towards the cell body. Axon, also called as efferent processes, which carry impulses away from the cell body. Let us learn about the structure of the cell body. Cell body Cell's life support center, dendrites, receives messages from other cells, axon, passes messages away from the cell body to the neurons, muscles and glands. Covering the axon, you have the myelin sheet and helps, it, the main function is to help 
and speed neural impulse neural impulses electrical signal traveling down the exon and terminal bounces of exons from junctions with other cells and as you can see there's a gap over there that gap is also known as synaptic clefts synaptic knobs as you can see over here there's a gap over there in the axons so once again we have the dendrites short branching processes from the cell body axon we have myelin has an insulating sheath supports insulin nourishes the axon and helps maintain chemical balance nodes of anvia allows passage of the electrical signal through ion channels which helps the transmission very fast synapse is a space between the axon of neuron and the dendrite of another cell as the impulse reaches the terminal end of an axon a chemical acetylcholine is released three types of neurons we have sensory motor and interneurons